Good evening from Be Happy Foundation. Today, 24th January, is the 45th death anniversary of Bill W., the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous. And today I would like to talk about the vitamin B3 or niacin therapy for alcoholism that Bill W. had developed in the last five years of his life. Alcohol is a big problem in society and many governments are, it's become such a big problem in India that many of our governments are thinking of now even banning alcohol. But unless banning doesn't work because, I mean, unless the urge in the alcoholic is subsides, as long as the urge is there, he will go and do anything to get his liquor. And that's why, I mean, <laughs> unscrupulous uh, selling, black market selling of liquor starts and all that. It, it, that also is a menace. So the main solution is we have to remove the urge of alcohol for an alcohol, the urge to drink of alcohol if needs to go. And this can go away with this uh, vitamin B3 therapy. Now, last year, at the human resource, uh, at the conference on human resource development, <coughs> Professor Sham Chandra, the former dean of the Faculty of Commerce of Banaras Hindu University, he, he said, that if the alcohol problem goes away, half the work of HRD is done. So, Bill W., he went through a lot, lot of depression between 1944 and 1960 or so. He suffered from heavy depression and didn't know what to do. Dr. Abraham Hoffer and uh, Osborne, they suggested he take niacin and his he, his depression was lifted and then he started experimenting with the alcoholics and he found that two-thirds of the alcoholics just stopped it hurt them so he got doctors to conduct clinical studies and he wrote three papers on the vitamin B3 therapy the first paper he wrote in 1966 giving out all the literature about niacin to the alcoholics and a large number of alcoholics started deriving benefits from this. In the 1968 paper, he gave the result. He also asked his doctors to conduct clinical studies on niacin, vitamin B3, on various uh, things like alcohol, the schizophrenia, hypoglycemia for the heart, arthritis, and many other conditions. He got these doctors to conduct clinical studies uh, on niacin and he found and in this paper he, uh, the introduction he says that in 1966 two institutions or two treatment centers for alcoholism had started using niacin and by 1968 hundred such rehabs and treatment centers were using niacin as a therapy for alcoholism. Today that therapy is gone. People don't even know about it. And in this he report on alcoholism, it helps arthritis, it helps heart problems. I will leave the details behind of these other links in the write up below in the YouTube. But in this on alcoholism, uh, alcohol, he, the doctors gave them three to six grams of niacin every day vitamin B3 every day and the result was at the end of it says at the end of 68 a total of 371 alcoholics had achieved sobriety out of an original group of 507 all of whom had been previous treatment failures prior to 1967 a recovery rate of 71 percent had been achieved in a two-year period. So 71% of the alcoholics who tried this niacin therapy three to six grams a day had given up alcohol. And he said, this paper says that of those who didn't give up, I mean, for these people who gave up, 
just by taking niacin, they couldn't drink alcohol anymore. He says, many of these individuals report attempts to return to resume drinking, but the effect of alcohol plus vitamin B3 was neither desirable nor tolerable. Then he says, the paper says, others drank with somewhat more success but maintained their B3 intake and found withdrawal very minor in comparison with previous experiments. So, by taking niacin, the effects of the in, bad effects of alcohol on the body disappeared. Why this happens? Because I mean, the, we have to understand how the alcohol is uh, metabolized by the system. See, alcohol, when it goes into the body, being a toxin, it is immediately the liver starts uh, trying to get rid of it. In the liver, first alcohol dehydrogenase, an enzyme is released that converts the alcohol into breaks down the alcohol into acetaldehyde, alcohol acid, acetaldehyde. Another enzyme, acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, is released in the liver that breaks down the acetaldehyde into acetates and water, which can be easily eliminated in the urine. Okay, so so both these enzymes are dependent on the coenzyme NAD, which requires niacin to form. So when alcoholics drink too much of niacin uh, alcohol, too much of these enzymes are required, coenzymes are required, too much of NAD is required, so too much of niacin gets depleted. And so they develop a niacin deficiency. This is the physiological cause of it. So just by giving this niacin, of course, I mean, there are other ways, I mean, like uh, it affects ga the neurotransmitter, when alcohol goes to the brain, it affects the neurotransmitter GABA, causing more release of GABA, which calms down anxiety. And that also, it's like uh, the effect of uh, diazepam or this anxiety, anti-anxiety drugs that they give. But they are also all addictive. That's how addiction develops in the brain also. So, uh, vitamin uh, B3 is one of the solutions. And another solution, you can read the book. Uh, Abraham Hoffer was the doctor who helped uh, Bill W to cure his thing. And just before he died in 2009, he published this book, a vitamin cure for alcoholism. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's uh, the vitamin cure of alcoholism for alcoholism by <coughs> Andrew Hoffer and Andrew Saw. And these papers on uh, vitamin B3 can be found on his uh, on the site of uh, doctoryourself.com. On the left hand on the this left hand side of the page. There are three papers, Bill W1, Bill W2, Bill W3. Those are the three papers of uh, medicine therapy of Bill W. You can go through them over there. And I hope, I mean, all that. See, because there are 70 million alcoholics in India. If we start this therapy, even 70% as a huge amount of alcoholism, and this alcohol problem will go away. I hope all the social workers all the counsellors, all the psychiatrists, psychiatrists and <coughs> psychologists start using this. All the best. I'm sure we can get rid of alcohol problems from India. All the best.